Hey there, artistic internet freaks. Um, this is Justin, your friend here, and you're not really freaks. You guys are awesome, actually. Um, what I'm going to do for you today is show you how to create the VHS tracking effect or something that looks kind of like the G VHS tracking. Like, you know, that was that distortion that happens when you... Um, are tra watching an old VHS tape and the tape isn't lining up correctly with the read head on the VHS or the VCR and it causes these like weird looking lines uh, on the, the screen and so what I'm going to do is show you how to make that in Sony uh, Vegas Movie Studio Platinum which is the inexpensive version of Sony Vegas so yeah it's pretty pretty easy to do it takes a couple minutes and uh, anyone can do it you don't need any extra plugins or anything like that um, everything that just comes at Sony Vegas uh, out of the box you can do this with okay well the first thing we're gonna want to do uh, after you create a new project in Vegas is you'll see it it gives you all this extra crap over here that we're not really gonna need uh, at least for this tutorial uh, so let's get rid of one of these music channels and we'll just delete that track and this we're going to change and you don't really have to do this but this is just so we can uh, keep track of what we're doing here so we'll just change that to VHS tracking and there's our video track all right so what we're going to do first I have a little clip here of me playing some guitar I'm going to put that down in the video track area. And yeah, I guess we'll just go ahead and say that. Um, shorten this a bit. And what we're going to do, how this works, is basically we do this in two stages, or three stages if you want to do the audio too. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is go to Media Generators, which is this little tab here on the, the middle area. And then we're going to go down and scroll down to um, Noise Texture and just select Standard Noise. And let's drag that down to our timeline. Okay. So you'll see that that opened up this Standard Noise uh, Editor area. And now what we're going to do is change several of the parameters in this uh, thingy, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select Noise Style, and then we're going to go to Jagged Lines. And Number of Layers, we're going to change that to about 4.9-ish, around there, 4.8, that'll work. Um, so it's almost up all the way, but not quite colors we're going to change these we're gonna actually put the color one to white and color two we're gonna set this to transparent ah there you go you see me popping through the video there and that's why we change that to transparent because we only want the white staticky looking uh, noise to show up on the screen and right now you'll notice this really doesn't look anything like VHS but it will once we get done so let me make that a little bigger. Okay, we're going to go to frequency now. And for the X frequency, we want to put that to about 0 0.42, about that, somewhere around there. So let's do 0 0.42. So that makes, uh, it's already starting to look a little bit like it. And for Y, we're actually going to leave this, well, just set it to 16 for now, because we're going to come back to that. Okay, and then we're going to you know, expand this window here a little bit. Click on the offset button. Okay, so the Y parameter, I'm sorry, the X parameter, we want to set that to about... 0.524, something like around there. 
Uh, these don't have to be exact, you know, like, but try to get them close. So for the Y parameter and offset, just leave that at zero. Okay, and progress, also leave that at zero as well. Now we go down to noise parameters. Might have to scroll down to see these. So the minimum setting for noise parameters, we're going to put that at about 0 0.054. Oops. Okay, and then the maximum parameter, we're going to want to set that to about 0 0.435. Bias, you just keep that at 0. Uh, amplitude, we're going to slide that up pretty high to about 9... Uh, about 9.1, around there. Uh, that's probably good. And then for grain, that's going to go up to about, well, should be 7.762. I think my amplitude, I didn't get quite right. Hmm. Something I did wrong here. There we go. Um, yeah, if you don't see anything, you can just play around with some of these. Usually, though, that should have been okay when I had it at. It might have just been, like, frozen and not showing the difference. Uh, so let's go ahead and try to put this back. Put that up to about 9. In grain, we're going to go... Now, this one you can kind of play with to uh, kind of see, like how much or how little you want to have in there. Okay, that's starting to look pretty good. All right, so noise parameters, uh, minimum 0 0.210, maximum 0 0.552, bias is 0, amplitude 9.231, and grain is 0 0.741. Uh, the thing is, though, like some of these... It just depends. Like, y you may have to mess with them a little bit if you don't see anything here, like, looking like that. Because it doesn't seem like it does it exactly the same every time. I'm not exactly sure why. But, uh, but if you don't see it, you know, just kind of slide them back and forth the way I did until they start to appear. And then you'll start to get an idea of what it's going to look like. So now what we can do, and you'll see how this is going to work, back up here on the frequency setting... The Y frequency, if we slide that to the right, you see how those start to go up the screen, kind of like a VHS distortion. So, and actually, I want to, it's a little bit much for me. I want to go back down here, take some of that away. Okay, so that looks more right to me. Yeah. Okay, so... <coughs> Now what you're going to want to do, we have the lines, but we want to animate that Y uh, parameter. So what you're going to want to do for that, you want to make sure that you don't really go below 16. Because if you go down too far, you see they, they start to turn into like circles and like flowery looking things. And that's not really right. Like VHS never really looked that way. So you want to keep them like horizontal static lines basically. Uh, and so in order to do that, just keep it, you know, below or above 16 in here. And so what we're going to do, we're going to click on animate the little clock there. And then now down here, you'll, you'll see the Y parameter in the noise texture. And so I'm just going to count over two uh, little bars here. So we have one, two, and just double click in the Y area and that'll create a new keyframe. And we're just going to take that, uh, 
uh, the Y setting, which is up here, and just slide it all the way over. And now we're going to create another keyframe, two more spaces forward. And we're going to slide it down back to around 16 or around that area. It doesn't have to be exact. Make another keyframe. Do the same thing, just put it back up. Another keyframe. Back down. Now these keyframes can be spaced out either closer or further apart depending on how fast you want the, uh, the distortion to happen. So you can play with that if you want to change the look of it. All right, and that, once we do that, that part is done. So now if we go here, let me zoom in a little bit. And we scroll the, the playhead, you'll see the static. And that's pretty cool, right? Um, if I play it back, I don't know how well it'll play while my screen capture is happening, but... Okay, so you may be thinking, well, you know, it doesn't really, you know, it kind of looks like it, but not totally. And you're right. Um, so what you're going to want to do, we're not quite done yet. What we want to do now is we're going to go in here to the track effects. And Sony has this really cool plugin called the Sony TV Simulator. And I've gone ahead and made a couple of presets for this, uh, just for this specific thing. And one of them is VHS Static. I named it that. You can create your own. And this you're going to put on the, the static channel. And so what you're going to want to do is just copy all of these parameters I have in the, the VHS Static setting. And that is detailed zoom. You're going to put to 2.7540. Aperture grill, you're going to put to 0 0.3160. Interlacing, you're going to put to 0 0.7800. Line sync, 0 0.3400. Vertical sync is 0. Scan phasing is 0.2. Phosphorescence is 0.5 and static is 0 0.8680 and then once you have that you can just you know type VHS static into this preset area and just click on save and then the next time you do it you won't have to do all that it'll just be there so let's close that out and now let's take a look at that static and see the difference now it really looks kinda like VHS because now it has that black and white and like these weird little colors in here you know, which is very similar to, like, the tracking errors that would happen when you're playing back a VHS tape. And so that's good for the static, but the, the underneath video still looks very clear. So we're going to remedy that, too. And the way to do that is go back to the track effects. And we're going to go back into the uh, TV simulator here. And this one, you can... You know, you may want to play with this differently, but what I did is the only thing I use this for in the video is the bend effect. Like, so when the tracking errors are happening, usually the tape would kind of be warping under the head, and it would make the image bend. So the way I did that is I took the line sync, and I put it up to 0 0.9640, and the vertical sync up all the way, and turned everything else off completely. So now if we look at that, oh yeah, and you can save that one too. Just go back here and just type in VHS Bend, and, or you can name it however you can remember it, and then just click Save. Okay, now if we scroll through here, now it looks pretty VHS-y, right? Okay. So one more final trick. And this one really will make it convincing, and that is to mess with your audio. So the way I did this before is I went in here to the track effects for audio, and I added a tremolo, or I'm sorry, vibrato effect. And now this vibrato thing is really cool because it has these, these are basically essentially the same as the keyframes, except they're, you know, for audio. 
So what you're going to want to do is you want to take this modulation frequency and put it almost all the way down because that's going to make this very slow. So it'll be like more like a VHS tape. And you can move this just slightly down because if you do it too far, it's like crazy drastic and you really don't need it to be like that. Um, this may be too much already, but we'll see. So, and you can make these, like if you have a specific part where you do like a lot of VHS static, then you can make this warping happen more in that section and it'll be like much more believable. So if we play this back now, I don't think I did quite enough there. Let's check that out again. Maybe I should turn this up just a little bit. Okay. There we go. So yeah, that makes it look pretty much like an old VHS tape that's kind of fucked up and not playing very well. And that's how you can do this in Sony Vegas Movie Studio. So I hope you learned something, and I hope you found this useful, and uh, look forward to seeing your projects that you make. And uh, just if you have any questions or just want to share something with me, go ahead and post it in the comment section, and uh, subscribe and all that good stuff. And thanks for watching.